Get it. You're at home. You're looking up budget fish finders on your phone or on your computer. And what you see is a lot of different brands, different this, different that. So what's the best bang for your buck and budget fish finders? That's what we're going to be talking about today. You know, whether you're fishing out of a kayak or a boat, I'm going to try to show you the best bang for your buck so you're not out there wasting money on products that you shouldn't be buying. Now, whether your budget is 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 500 bucks, up to 2,000 bucks, there are just certain uh, fish finders that perform better than the other one. Now, you've got to take in consideration that this video is going to be my opinion on my past experience. So, we're going to start from the old to the new, and I'm going to try to get you a picture on, on what you should be purchasing to put more crappy in your boat. But before we get into that, I, I already know what's in your head. Steven, why does that shirt just look so good? I'm glad you asked. On today's video, we're actually partnering up with Into the AM, and just for being a part of the Turner Fishing family, they're gonna give you guys 10% off their entire website. And the cool thing is they have so many just awesome bundles like three for 60 or, you know, they even have a mystery hoodie that I ordered and it came out freaking phenomenal. I was, I was just expecting a basic hoodie. And these t-shirts are well-made, they're well-ventilated. And I mean, guys, I'm a 300 pound man. Do I look 300 pounds on this shirt? Maybe to some I do, but to me, it makes me look 20 pounds lighter. And that's one of the biggest things with a, a big guy's t-shirt is having it so you know it covers everything and you're not having everything come up but check out these cool designs like this one right here this one right here i mean that is just a six full a little bit of a grim reaper spaceman i mean how cool is that now this one's actually one that my wife picked out it's like a tree of life with like the, the chromosomes. At least we have aliens stealing pyramids. I love pyramids, so this was probably my favorite. History hoodie that I ordered. This was 22 bucks on their website right now. Link in the description. Make sure you use code TURNERFISHING and I want to thank Into the AEM for sponsoring today's video. The first thing that you want to know about budget cheap finders. You see this hook? The best thing to do with it, do not buy a low rants hook anything. Yeah, they're probably one of the cheapest budget options that you will find on any website, any retail store, they'll have the hook series. Do not buy the low rants hook series. Whatever you do, I have never had one that worked half as good as any of the other stuff I'm about to talk about. What fish finder should you be buying? So honestly, if you're just now getting into crappy fishing, the best place for you to start would probably be going on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist or something and grabbing you a Humminbird 587. I used this fish finder for around three years when I first got into fishing heavily. You know, I always grew up fishing, but I never really treated it as like, I don't know, I wasn't into it, into it all the way growing up. And then when I got into it and actually got a boat and everything, that's what I started out with. That unit right there has down imaging, uh, regular 2D sonar, and it's just a crisp image and it doesn't lie. That's why I'm so against the hook series because the hook series will put your whole screen full of fish and there's just nothing there. I mean, it barely even reads the depth. As far as brand new units go, the first options that you're gonna come across at a hundred to $200 price range is gonna be the Piranha Max or the Garmin uh, Striker. These are both so good for the price. You can get the Piranha Max down image, which I used for two years. As y'all seen in a lot of my older videos, I've caught probably five, 6,000 crappy with that unit. 120 bucks, crisp down image, doesn't lie. You can put it on your front trolling motor and just 
have a field day on any brush pile that you run across. The Garmin Striker, I have fished with it and with other people in the past, and this unit is very good also, but I don't have as much experience as I do with the Piranha Max. Two to $500, you're either A, going to upgrade your Garmin Striker to one that has a five, I believe you may be able to get a seven inch Garmin Striker for around $499, not 100%. I know on, on sale, you're able to get one for that price. But what I would suggest, if you're looking for one for the back of the boat or on the console, get a Helix 5 with side scan and down scan. Yes, you're not going to be able to see everything on side scan, but it will break you into the world of side scanning with a Helix 5 with a side scan. Or you can get the cheaper Helix 5, and this is a very good unit also. I used it on my kayak when I had it and caught lots of fish with it. Really limited on what you could buy that actually works but those are the ones I suggest. Now from 500 to 1,000, there's only one way to go. You know, you could buy a Garmin Striker, a bigger screen with crisper uh, side scan. They do have one with side scan that my buddy Brian, I actually helped him put it on his boat. And that's one of the best side scanning units I've ever installed. That thing's got crisp, crisp images, but it does not get better now quote me on this guys get you a helix 7 with down imaging and side scan gen 3 with uh mega imaging you these start at 699 you do not need another unit for the back of your boat now if you're an old guy and need glasses and can't see nothing yeah get it like a helix 10 but for the back of your boat, if you just want a side scan or down scan, the Helix 7 with mega imaging will do anything and everything you can dream of. And you're going to find every brush pile in your lake you're going to find if there's fish on a brush pile. So that's from five to a hundred, a thousand. And you know, I don't cover a lot of low ranch products because I don't believe in low ranch until you get to the HDS and the carbon series. You may be able to find an HDS on Facebook Marketplace for the older models for cheap. The crappy man has an older HDS 7 and his side scan is really good to also, but we had to buy another transducer to get it to do that. My brother has the Lowrance Hook Reveal 9 inch and that thing just has so many problems. But so that's 500 to 1000. So from 1000 to 2000, I'm not going to go any higher because I can't afford anything higher. Honestly, you're either going to get an Echo Map, a Garmin Echo Map. You know, this, this can count for five to a thousand too. If you plan on getting Live Scope, get the unit that's compatible with it. I personally, the only graph I own right now is an Echo Map 7. It's a seven inch screen, about this dang big. Now, would I like a, a 10 or a 12? You dang right. I could see a lot more on it. But what I can afford at the time was a seven. So get you a seven in that 500 to a thousand. You can sometimes find them cheaper than 500 if you plan on upgrading to live scope. Now, once you know you thousand to two thousand dollar budget, just go for live scope. Get the bundle from the bass tank. You know, you get a graph with a transducer, you get two transducers and everything that's for the front of the boat now if you want something for the back of the boat just keep upgrading helixes you know get a helix 10 get a helix 12. i don't even know how much a helix 12 is but you kind of get the gist stay away from low down, low ranch products until you get to the expensive ones now if you can get an hgs or a carbon series those are fantastic graphs uh low ranch has the best mapping with uh navionics hummingbird has really good mapping also though so Garmin's kind of iffy on the mapping, but they do have live scope, which Active Target and Live Scope, they're one and the same. The Hummingbird version, not so good. But anyway, guys, remember to check out the description. You'll grab you some shirts. And I hopefully I showed you the insight on you know the best budget options for the most the most bang for your buck. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me.